What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you an updated guide how to install all of your favorite emulators such as Game Boy Advance for iOS, Nintendo DS for iOS, and the PlayStation Portable emulator on the latest iOS 8.3, 8.2, and even 8.4 firmware. So now this works on all devices, and of course this does not require a jailbreak. Now the one good thing about it is that it's absolutely free. So all of these emulators are super easy to download, it's very simple to get games, and I'm going to be showing you all of that in this video and it's absolutely free so let's go ahead and relive some childhood memories now i'm just going to show you real quick that these do work over here i've got game boy advance for ios and i've got a ruby version working over here so uh, it does work very well i mean this is game boy advance for ios one of the best emulators ever made and of course nintendo ds for ios over here got pokemon white all right so there we go this is working as well and I gotta say, they put in a lot of good work into the Nintendo DS for iOS emulator. Whoops. And it works a lot better now. The frame rate's really good. So it actually is very playable, absolutely playable, especially the DS versions. Now over here, I've got Game Boy Advance for iOS running on 8.4 right here, iOS 8.4. Just wanna show you guys that at least this one is working. And they do all work even on the newest version. They've all been updated and it's so simple. I mean, let's go ahead and show you guys how to install those. Now the PlayStation Portable emulator does work. However, on larger devices such as the 6 and 6 Plus, the scaling is a bit off. Hopefully they will update that. So as you can see, it's a little strange playing it when it doesn't fill up your screen. Now the PlayStation Portable one does work. It's just on the 6 Plus. It's, uh, you know, as you can see, the scaling is off. But anyways, let's go ahead and show you guys how to install these. And for the Game Boy Advance and a DS emulator, you can install games without a computer. Now to begin, go ahead and head over to iEmulators.com on your device. So once you're here, now you can go ahead and click on the apps over here. So let's go ahead and uh, scroll down. And as you can see right here, Game Boy Advance for iOS 2.1 has been updated. So when you go ahead and click on it, literally all you guys need to do is select install, click install again to the next prompt, or actually right here, click this guy, now install then install again and it'll ask you to download it now i've already got one on my springboard you know you just click install and it'll begin installing i'm not going to do it twice but the process is exactly the same with all of the emulators here's the game boy advance one the nintendo ds one is over here and the playstation portal one is right here now with game boy advance for ios you can play game boy color games as well if you wish you know that's always a possibility so it's super simple to get games especially on the game boy advance one all you have to do is search and i do advise you to download games you own in physical format. Anyways, go ahead and search for Game Boy Advance ROMs or MU Paradise. This is my favorite one right here. Super simple. All you guys have to do is uh, go ahead and find one you want. Here are the most popular ones. I'm going to go ahead and select Golden Sun. I'm going to scroll down to the download link. Man, they really hide it on this website. Uh, all right. No. Anyways, it's right here. So click on this thing, scroll down, and here is the final download link. So go ahead and select download, select OK, and the progress bar is up there. So once that is downloaded, you guys are golden, super simple, and you now have that working on your device. So this is working. I heard some people saying it wouldn't work if you restart your device. I tested it on both firmwares and it works perfectly after restarting. So don't worry about any of that. Now for Nintendo DS, it's also very simple. You just have to use Safari. So go ahead and head over to muparadise.mobi. That's the one I recommend. So we're gonna go ahead and select NDS ROMs. Let's go ahead and download this one right here. So the process is a little bit different and uh, for some it doesn't work, but for most of them it does work. So go ahead and do the same thing, click on the link, and on the second time, nothing will happen. You know, well, you'll click it, you'll see that it does switch up there in the search bar, but nothing will happen. So basically what's happening right now is your device is downloading that Nintendo DS ROM in the background. So once it is finished, then you will get a prompt to go ahead and open it up in the Nintendo DS emulator. And when that happens, I'll be right back. All right, so this is the screen you will see when you have successfully downloaded it. Go ahead and select open in NDS for iOS. And in just a moment here, the app will open and you will have your download right there, which should work successfully. Cool. 
So guys, that's how you do it for Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS. Now, first off, before you actually use this, there is a better tutorial I have on my channel for the PSP emulator, and it's actually the full size, it works better, so I would recommend you watch it. I'll leave it down below in the description. But if you guys wanna get games on this, go ahead and click on this link right here, and I'll have a full guide for the rest of the stuff too. It'll have the full method for installing games on all of these, in particular, the PlayStation Portable emulator. So anyways, guys, that's just about it. This is how to get your childhood class Classic games such as Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, and PlayStation Portable on your device. And this does work on all the latest firmwares. So this should be around for a while. Again, if this stops working, I have another method on my channel that will work for most of these guys. So don't even worry about that. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Enjoy all that nostalgia. Peace.